So for the first time in a long time, it seems the progressive conservatives have stiff competition in the upcoming elections. The PC's direction has been challenged by all the parties. And as Clayton Brown reports, the pressure is being applied even in Laclavish, St. Paul. Landowners across Alberta have voiced their concerns and displeasures with the PCs and Bills 19, 24 and 36. Many Albertans feel the bills take away property rights. Bill 36 had amendments. It had uh, amendments with uh, Bill 10 and Bill 6. And uh, that very much gave, uh, gave uh, consultation, uh, gave uh, 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 compensation. We'd either rescind them or amend them to uh, reflect the views of Albertans. Uh, centralizing power into cabinet to make decisions on critical infrastructure that used to be decided through public boards is a, is a the wrong thing to do. The Wild Rose would repeal all those bills and implement an Alberta Property Rights Preservation Act to ensure full, fair and timely compensation if a government ever takes away your land as well as full recourse to the courts. I'm, I'm running for a party that, that is against the land bills. We will not support them. We will, fall, we will put them down if, if we form government. Anytime a government says they know what's best for me, I get worried. Another big concern in the riding is the lack of doctors. Many say they are tired of wait times and the number of trips some have to take to Edmonton. There's a cap on how many, how many doctors our, uh, our universities can produce. Then we need to contact the, the CMA and find out why is that cap there and find a solution to go around it. Right now there's a very low limit in the number of doctors who are graduated from the universities in, in Alberta. We th I think that we need to ensure that we increase the number of doctors that are graduated here first. Start with uh, who you enroll in medical school and how many seats are available for those students. So you can work with the medical colleges to increase the number of positions available in the schools. We're building a, a new facility that is going to be a wellness centre. This is something that the municipalities uh, in conjunction uh, with the government uh, have supported and is going to make a tremendous uh, difference for this area. In St. Paul, Clayton Brown, Newcap News. And still to come this evening, the Alberta government has a new website to keep you informed in the heat of the elections. We'll have that story when Newcap News continues after the break. Well, as parties are making last-minute promises to get voters to the polls, it can be hard to stay informed and keep up with the rapid pace at election crunch time. So the government of Alberta is increasing communications to voters. In fact, a new website is being called the one-stop shop for all your election needs. Everything from designated polling stations, applying for special ballots, links to parties' websites, and even real-time unofficial results on election day. Elections Alberta says this site has been created to facilitate voter participation, where to vote, and cards are also being sent to all available residents. Residential addresses.